Hi, everybody. It's Miss Ellie um, with our Mindful Mondays. Um, I just want to remind you guys how much we miss you and, you know, can't wait until we're all back together again. Um, but until then, I think it's so important to um, spend some time doing some mindful activities and practicing some yoga. Um, and if there's anything that, you know, we can share along our journey, we'd love to do it. Um, so today I want to teach like seven different poses so you can do your own um, yoga story. So we'll go through an ocean adventure um, and I'll teach you seven poses that you can do on your own um, and just give you a quick reminder of some of the benefits of yoga. Um, you know, kids are better able to manage anxiety, it improves their emotional regulation, boosts their self-esteem, increases their body awareness and mindfulness. Um, it enhances their concentration and their memory, um, actually by doing yoga and of course the physical stuff, the developing strength and flexibility. Um, so I think there are so many, um, benefits like what, why not? Um, and we're raising tomorrow, right? That's why I have the, the shirt on today just to give us a reminder, um, of why, why it is we do what we do when we, you know, trying to raise these strong kiddos for the next generation. So. Um, oh, today we're going to do seven different poses. Um, they're really easy and they're fun to learn. And then you can do, you can kind of create your own story. Uh, so the first pose we'll do is called the boat pose. Um, so what you want to do is put your feet out in front of you, your feet behind your back. You're going to lift up one foot, lift up two feet, lift up one hand, lift up one hand and no hands and give a wave. And now you're in your boat. Uh, when you're doing poses, you can you can try to hold it as long as you can. Um, for kiddos, maybe three to five seconds um, is plenty for them, and it's normal for them to be wobbly. <laughs> um, so if you fall, it's okay. That that's part of it. Um, so first, that's the boat. Um, the next pose we're going to try is the rowing pose. You're going to sit up tall, okay, and you're going to take um, a hold of your ankle, right, just like this, and you're going to bend your leg. You can feel that stretch for sure right here. And then you're gonna row, you can row, row, row your boat. <laughs> um, on one side, so row, row, row your boat gently down the stream, merrily, 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 life is but a dream. <laughs> okay, we'll put that one back and we'll do the same on this leg. So you practice the rowing on this side too. So now we have our boat and now we know how to row it. <laughs> um, so the next we'll move to the, the beach animals. Um, so next we're going to do our crab pose. Um, so you're going to sit on your bottom, okay, with your knees bent, um, and your hands are flat right behind you. You're going to lift up your hips in the air, okay, so you can this, and then you can go to one side, ready, digger, 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 and kick, and then the other way, <laughs> digger, 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 kick, and that's simple, that's our crab pose. Um, Vivian and I do the crab pose a lot when we practice our Moana moves. Uh, so this is kind of a fun one you can tie into some some Disney movies. Uh, the next pose we'll do is called fish pose. Um, this one you're going to lie on your back, okay? And then you take you're going to pop up on your elbows like this. You're going to point your make sure your toes are pointed down. So your legs are all the way out in front of you, okay? And your arch like this, and then you'll go pop 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 and look behind you. Okay, so you can really feel that stretch in your shoulders. And you're squish the fish. Okay, you gotta make sure your toes are pointed in front. And that's easy, that's your fish pose. Um, the next pose is our mermaid pose. So of course, another favorite, right? Um, so you're gonna sit, of course, tall. Put your feet out in front of you. Um, and you're gonna swish your tail to one side and then swish your tail the other side kind of while, while looking behind you. So we're gonna Swish our tail this way, hands to this side, and look behind. Oh, and you can feel that stretch right here. Okay, and then toes out in front, swish the other way, and look behind. And that's our big mermaid tail, okay? So now we've done our aerial, too. Um, the sixth pose we'll do today is the shark, okay? This one is a really good stretch. So you're gonna lie on your tummy, Okay, lie on your tummy. Take your hands and clasp them behind your back. Okay, this is your shark fin, okay? So I want you to pop up your chest and your feet and do 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 do
Okay, now you're a big scary shark with your big shark fin here. And you can feel that stretch and again, hold it, hold it as long as you can. Um, the last and seventh pose we'll do is the, uh, the swimming pose. Um, so it's a lot like fish. Um, I'm sorry, it's a lot like shark. Um, so again, we're gonna go back to our tummies. Okay, back to our tummies. Okay, you're gonna lift your little feet up, so they're kinda up like this. And then take your hands and swim. And you can kinda swirl your feet with it. But you can feel the stretch and definitely working your core <laughs> um, on this one. Um, okay, awesome. So, uh, I mean, in that short of time, you've just learned seven new yoga poses that you can practice. Um, the fun part is being creative and like making up the story as you go. Um, but I hope that kind of helps bring a little more yoga and mindfulness into your, into your day. Um, and I can't wait to see you next week. Miss everybody. Thanks. Bye.